This is Bob Schulteis with the University of Missouri Extension and we're talking about plant diseases. Uh, one of the issues that we have, uh, here's an example of a, ro a knockout rose, a yellow knockout rose, and uh, one of the problems that we see with plant diseases, if, if, whenever we have a fair amount of moisture, we will see uh, the potential for black spot or some other fungal disease on roses. And so when you're watering roses, it's a good idea to uh, water low and keep the plants mulch uh, so that uh, uh, particularly if we get a rainstorm we don't want to see soil splash on the lower leaves. What that causes is, uh, is some of these diseases to get started and once you see a fungal disease there's not really a good control to uh, uh, eliminate that disease. You might be able to slow it down a little bit but the idea is to try and keep the leaves dry. If you're going to water a plant like this, water it in the morning uh, so that the leaves have a chance to dry out all day long and if you do see a uh, do have a plant and you're trying to figure out what kind of disease it is uh, it's helpful if you'll bring in a, a portion of that plant into the University of Missouri Extension Center we can help you identify the disease and provide you uh, uh, some possible control options for that and uh, that may be something as simple as just mulching the soil instead of spraying the plant with pesticide uh, if it's short on water Again, we can use uh, something simple like a bucket uh, with a small hole in the bottom. Uh, this would be a 564 to 1 8 inch hole and fill that bucket full of water, set it near these young plants and uh, it will provide an adequate amount of water for that. Uh, one bucket on a plant this size would be enough to last a week or so.